Hi friends, Ben back again. Um, just a quick video. I've been getting a lot of requests on Instagram and on YouTube about what's going on with the clutch. There's just a lot of you fellas who, who are facing this issue. Um, like when you start the bike early in the morning, there's some kind of a noise here, more like a, uh, a grabbing noise, more like uh, the bike, uh, the calipers grabbing onto the rotors and it sounds like that so people are worried what's going on with their clutch baskets and clutch plates and and so on and so forth so um, I thought I, I, I should just clarify another thing uh, that most of you are facing is hard gear shifts a lot of you are complaining about hard gear shifts and uh, um, you know not being able to get neutral and uh, more like um, a springy action to the gear lever when you shift from one to two uh, it kind of just um, is more like a thud instead of uh, a smooth shift. I have already made a dedicated video on this subject long, long time ago when I started the channel. But uh, it's, uh, I mean, I think it's been a really long time, so I need to address it one more time. Uh, it's a very, very simple thing that you guys should keep in mind. One, that is the clutch, the whole clutch setup. Uh, need some time to settle down you need to give it the required amount of time this particular engine with the clutch and the clutch basket and the plates and everything i think um, uh, five out of ten bikes have uh, settling down issues so um, from my experience i see a lot of himalayans so i know for a fact that you know i'm not saying this fr strictly from uh, just this one bike and uh, what i have understood from this motorcycle but there's a lot of experience that i've had handling himalayans and uh, um, seeing uh, what goes on in each bike so five out of ten bikes have a clutch uh, I don't want to call it a fault because it's it's the character of the motorcycle or the clutch plates and the clutch uh, setup just takes a little bit of time to settle down it's not the usual clutch um, so yeah give it some time now how much time is uh, how good uh, for some people things settle down within a thousand kilometers and for some people things settle down within uh, uh, 5,000 kilometers so it's between 1,000 and 5,000 kilometers you will start to see that uh, the clutch will not, not act as finicky as it used to act uh, in the beginning uh, like in a brand new motorcycle it will become a lot more predictable you will know where to shift and how to shift and so that's as far as the clutch is concerned number two uh, why why does the clutch grab in the morning why, why do you get to hear that mm noise when you um, when it's a cold morning and you start the bike and then you let go of the clutch it feels like you know there's something grabbing in the clutch why that happens is because I believe I believe I'm uh, I've, I've um, kind of tested this on many motorcycles uh, the solutions that I uh, am going to be offering you has worked on many motorcycles so uh, many 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 friends of mine have uh, thanked me for uh, the solution and it's pretty simple uh, for you need to understand why things go wrong so uh, what happens is that the clutch plates the fiber plates start binding um, and it could it could be uh, the the oil that's been used maybe the kind of oil maybe um, because of the friction material and the uh, oil the way they react together and um, somehow things just don't work well in the beginning and they, there's a lot of there's a lot of sticky stickiness the clutch plates start binding and um, you know you need to release them with heat the oil kind of expands and it becomes a little more flowy smooth and uh, the plates separate well so it's because of the clutch plates that are binding that you get this issue and uh, there are some solutions that i would like to share um, okay so uh the number one solution to that problem is you doing this. You pull the lever to uh, the clutch lever to the uh, throttle to the grip and then tie uh, something around it. Now, here in this case I'm using a microfiber cloth but you can use anything for that matter tie strap, um, ropes, whatever it is that you see fit. You can grab the lever, le a lever to the throttle to the, sorry to the grip and then tie it around yeah nice and tight leave it like that overnight leave it like that overnight the next day morning um, what you can do is you can start the bike and let it idle let it idle for some time let, li let it idle for about a minute well what this does is this sees to it that there's uh, oil flow happening within um, the clutch plates and now the difference is 
uh, and now the difference is going to be the fact that you know you've had the plates separated for about 24 hours so whatever kind of sludge build up that's happened over time is definitely going to um, settle down the, the the i mean all that we are trying to do is we are trying to separate the plates and get oil in between them so that all that all the sticky bit sludge whatever you want to call it uh, kind of you know you kind of get rid of it so uh, that's all there is that you're trying to do and uh, this might not work on day one you'll have to do it a couple of times maybe three to ten times sometimes it's more than ten times you will have to do it do it once in a week or something don't do it every day you know, the cables will stretch so you will have to adjust the free play uh, after you, you've done this 24 hours of stretching the cable uh, may see to may cause a, a stretch a slight tiny bit of adjustment will be required so you'll have to adjust the length of the free of the cable and get the right free play uh, at here you need at the clutch perch you need about two to three millimeters and once you get that free play you're good to go so keep in mind do this uh two or three times uh or maybe 20 or 30 times depending on what is required until you do not have any more of that noise come up in the morning or this will also see to it that um, your uh, gear shifts become a lot more smoother uh, you a lot more predictable you will find it easier to shift another thing that I would suggest just in case you uh, you have uh, hard gear shifts uh, what you could do is you could uh, kind of uh, decrease the uh, the position I mean kind of lower the position you can uh, this is not at parallel this is slightly lower uh, suits me um, of course it's a bit of a problem getting to the bottom of it with my adventure boots but um, yeah it, it's I still have I mean I've figured out ways of uh, uh, handling this this particular position so I don't have a problem you can adjust the nut and bolt here to do the same thing uh, this is a lot more uh, uh, easier I mean for me because I've been used to doing it um, otherwise also you can definitely adjust it here you can adjust these nuts here so that you know you lower and uh, raise the position of the of the shift lever so that way also you will um, see to it that you know you have more leverage you can you can you can shift with higher leverage and that will also see to it that you know you don't have these cranky shifts happening so that's one thing that you could do this is another thing that you could do this this this, this will definitely work wonders your clutch plates will not make that noise after a certain number of times you've done this it'll stop making that noise how long this uh, engine takes to settle down um, sometimes as long as 5000 kilometers for the engine to completely settle down it becomes a beautiful machine if you give it time just give it time guys give it time this machine is nothing short of magic and i am just more grateful um, than ever uh, the fact that you know I have it for five long years it's taken all the beating in the world that it could possibly take and still continues to amaze me um, primarily because it's in good nick it's in very good nick it's much better than a factory himalayan uh, it works better rides better handles better um, you know i could do so much with this which i cannot even imagine of doing with a factory himalayan so this is this machine is definitely definitely worth it uh, all the time money and effort that you put into your himalayans it's definitely going to be worth it um, yep with that i will end this video hopefully uh, you got something out of this hopefully you and you'll be able to put it to good use you'll be able to sort out your problems well if that helps let it help <laughs> That's all there is for this one. I'll catch up on the next one with you guys. This is Ben signing out for now. Ciao.